Hi bestie, how are you doing? If I've done my math right, I think this should be Christmas day. And if it is, Merry Christmas bestie. I've got a little bit of a treat for you. I just wanted to do something a little bit special because advent calendar kind of takes up about six months of my working life. So here she is. This is my advent calendar. This is my 12 day advent calendar that I brought out this year. It is something that I'm really, really beyond proud of. And if you want to see the sort of making of her and how I got to the place where we've got all of these available, check out yesterday's vlog because Bestie, that was a good one. That was a good one. It really was. But in today's video, I am opening up three advent calendars from budgeting shops. Now, a little bit of a quick disclaimer. I do not think I am the authority on advent calendars. So my personal feelings and opinions that I may or may not express during this video, they're definitely not these sort of like, I'm not trying to pretend that I'm the best. And I'm also not trying to pretend that I invented advent calendars for budgeting. I think the first one I saw was from Budget Mum UK. She didn't actually do one this year, which I'm quite sad about because I would have definitely bought it. But yeah, we've got three. I did originally buy five and two were from German shops, but they immediately refunded me. The other thing I need to say is that, not that I think I'm a big like name or anything like that, but I decided to get these sent to my sister's address with her details and all of that because I didn't want my name if they even knew my name because i just don't know there's just so many variables but if they did know my name i didn't want that to influence it i wanted to, to get the same experience as everybody else so we're opening up three today and let's bring them in hi guys guys my body pass welcome to budget with ira my name is ira and on this channel we talk about budgeting paying down debt and saving up for the life that you truly deserve if that sounds like something you'd like to watch please consider subscribing to the channel because we do have a lot of fun over here bestie we really really do So we've got three advent calendars here and we're going to start with the one that arrived first and we'll go through them all. So the first one here, this one is from Dingley Designs and as you can see they've done it in this lovely brown box which is the, I think it's the same size as mine. Yeah, exactly the same. What they've done on the front is really nice. They've uh, done uh, my sister-in-law's name, lovely. I'm just going to pop it over here. So when you get it, you get this lovely little savings challenge here and a little thank you bit on the bottom. Then you also get this lovely like Christmas card that just says thanks for buying it, which I thought was really, really cute. But what I want to do is crack this bad boy open and um, it says don't open till the 13th of December. Um, when I'm filming this, it's significantly earlier than the 13th of December, but when you're watching this, it's Christmas Day. So let's uh, take a look together. <gasps> so here it says, Merry Christmas. Your 12 days of Christmas countdown is about to begin. Is there anything better than counting down to an already exciting day with some new budgeting items? A warm present each day, the perfect motivation to keep your budgeting goals on track over the festive period or kickstart your savings in the new year. Take us on your countdown by sharing or taking us at Dingley Designs and using hashtag at Dinglemus on both Insta and TikTok so we can celebrate with you. Start by opening present number one on 13th of December. No sneak peek before. I hope you have an amazing Christmas. Love, Charlotte. So really cute. Uh, there's a little countdown here, if you can see it, uh, where you can tick off the days that you've done. I know I did that last year and I think I did it this year as well. So super cute, but let's get into this. So really nice presentation here, super cute. And I'm gonna find each present and um, let's get going. So let's start with number one, really well wrapped. So we're starting off with a bang. We're going for a binder. We've got a standard black binder, just a PU blinder, uh, which is like the vegan leather, super nice. Also got this sort of beer mat style quote card, a Christmas sticker, and we got some vinyls, which is really cute. And they've got some instructions on the back, which is really nice. Okay, let's find number two. Here she is. Okay, so in day number two, we've got this little chocolate dude. We've got a saving challenge that is called Out of This World. It's uh, okay laminated. It's not too bad at all. And then there's this matching A6 envelope, which will go in your binder. Super, super cute. Okay, day three. Seriously, a lot of effort's gone into like making these really nice. It's really nicely packaged. Okay, oh, geez. Okay, so on day three, there's this lovely, cute little candy cane. And then we got this dashboard style sort of board game, which is quite nice. It's laminated a lot thicker than the last one. It's quite nice. It's called Here for the Cash Hun. Not really a bit of me, but um, it's cute. Then there's this matching envelope and a cute little dice as well. Nice. 
day number four. I love this. This is so fun. So this one's really sweet. It says Merry Christmas on the back and it does feel a bit um, thinner than the rest. Okay, so these are like little sticker challenges. So they're printed on like an A6 size sticker. So you can stick these onto basically anything. Um, more than anything, you probably put it on one of those metal tins. So we've got Jar of Hearts, which is quite sweet. And we've got Reach for the Stars. Reach for the Stars. Find the next number, bestie. Reach five. This wrapping paper is a bit of me, bestie. It really is. Mawam. You can't go wrong with a Mawam, although they gave me orange. Then there's one of these. This one's come a little bit dented, but do you know what? It doesn't really matter. These are just like a pound from a pound shop. So it's quite nice to have. Um, you wouldn't normally be able to sort of distribute these to people because it just costs so much to send considering how much they're worth. But yeah, really nice addition to it. And that's a really good idea. I wish I thought of that. Number six is this one. So we've got another Santa chocolate there, which is super cute. And then one of these spinner challenges. So this is on nicely laminated and it's a nice spin on that um i think this is like a sucker spinner so i think that's a really clever idea actually it's all in pounds so it might be a bit annoying if you bought this from a different country spin the spinner follow the instructions in purple save the amount in yellow in the yellow section cool and then there's a matching envelope as well so you know that's not bad there's a lot of challenges so far okay let's go for number seven like this like a chocolate every day so we've got a uh, two pence chocolate i think these are the white chocolate ones so very very nice and then we've got a full set of sharpies oh and more wow so these are like pastel they're called the mystic gem ones and these aren't cheap so this is like a really nice addition i know i managed to get sharpies into mine and trying to get them cheap enough was wild so i would love to know how they managed to get uh loads of these out that must have been probably one of the most expensive things in here so that's not bad i'll, I'll keep these then we've got some cute little cash totals and these are really little so um there's these there they're they're on the small side and they're only in pounds as well so if this was going anywhere in the world I i'm sure they would have like um changed it for other people in the world but the only thing i'd say about these is these are laminated for reuse and we've got four we don't need four if they're going to be reused but Either way, very, very cute. Just the little touches of putting a little ribbon around them. That's like really nice. And then you also get this Merry Christmas uh, standard ballpoint pen. Oh, it might be red ink. Oh, it's black. Moving on. I think that was number seven. So let's do number eight and a lovely rainbow. I'm like, is she coming for my gig? But literally there's <laughs> rainbows all over. We got a full size candy cane. I, I think in mine, I only managed to put like two chocolates in there. Uh, but yeah, full size candy cane. Then we've got a 2024 saving challenge and it's all in stars and it's all rainbow. So it's really nice. So again, it's in pounds. You end up saving 2024, which is really cute. It's like split up in a lot of different ways. And again, it's dashboard style and it's nice and rigid i like that one and then there's a matching envelope too so quite a lot of cute stuff so far number nine is here and this one feels a bit smaller uh, like so far all the days have been like kind of different lots of savings challenges um so cute right what have we got here as i say that similar things so we've got two oh no we've got four of those um sticker savings challenges so we've got spring summer autumn winter and they're like the coloring in style ones so like you color them in so on this one here save 10 pound for each picture again i'd rather i didn't have like pounds on there like if i was um like from a different country it might be a bit sort of weird and then it's just a printed one here make your you the priority today number 10 ah oh, this is really sweet this whole thing is really really sweet another mini candy cane look at that one okay so this one is tremendous christmas and again all in pounds lots of different ways to save for christmas and then this one adds up to a thousand pounds so a thousand pounds and then you've also got a matching uh one there these two look quite disparate to each other they don't look like they're the same challenge but either way cute as anything number 11 oh there's something big in this one okay we've got a 20 sided dice which as we know i invented <laughs> and we've got a chomp my favorite i love chomp this one here is another dashboard style so you've got a roll for it um and it's got six roll and save the amount rolled roll and save the amount rolled 
colour the tracker as you go, complete the tracker to say 1260 in pounds again. So that's what it looks like. And that looks really nice, really pretty. That's a really nice way to present it. And then you've got a matching uh, little dashboard and zipper there. This is a really, really nice, really nice. And that dice is very pretty. It's like, can you see it? It's like yellow and red. It's lovely. We got the last one here. So the 12th day. So the 12th day should be like the nicest one, right? So this is probably wrapped the nicest. I'll be honest. It's got lovely rainbow linen ribbon and like dotty paper, like very pretty. Okay. We've got another candy cane, another. So I think every day there was something sweet to eat, which is really, really nice. And then let's take a look. So the candy cane has kind of leaked on the envelope a little bit. It's a bit sticky, but that will come off. It's so this envelope says, I dare you. So let's see what it says. <gasps> oh no, not brave enough. Scratch to see what total you will save. Okay, look. So it's a big scratch off of like silver and holographic ones. So yeah, that's really nice. This is like A5 size, so really pretty. So here is the finished Dingley Designs one. I will show photos of everything that was in there. I think this was really good. So really quick thing. So this one uh, was £40 plus shipping and it is a 12 day calendar. So I think for what you got, if you are somebody who really likes the savings challenges and you are in the UK, it's perfect for you. Um, I was really, really surprised and quite impressed with the Sharpies. I think that's not a cheap thing to put in because at £40, like you kind of want to be spending in order to make any sort of reasonable profit, you want to kind of be want to be spending less than a pound per day. Uh, and it looks like they've um, overdone that. So there's a lot of bargains in there. And I think this was a really, really, really good one. Very impressed with the Sharpie. And I really liked the binder as well. So I thought that was a nice touch, especially because the binder was day one. And I tend to save the binders to the last because that's the showstopper for me. But yeah, just chuck in going like straight in with something banging was really good and a really good idea so um i really like that one okay moving over the next one we've got is from budget with sean i just wanted to show you the the poly bag that it came in so really really pretty so let's take a look at this without showing you my address okay i can already tell you that it's a pink box which i did as well so i'm furious <laughs> So this one is supposed to be a 12-day calendar, but it says do not open till the 1st of December. So is it a 24-day calendar? I thought I bought a 12-day calendar. Maybe I bought a 24. So let's open this together. Really nice, really nice. It is a 12-day calendar. So if you open this on the 1st of December, you would finish it on like 13th. So um, no, I don't, I don't think that's a, a great. So far, Looks and feels crispy, really, really nice so far. But let's see what we get inside. So let me hunt for day one. Day one is here. And these are wrapped with like uh, goldy tissue paper. Really nice uh, labels as well, really festive. So let's take a look at day at number one, see what we've got. So we've got a lovely dashboard. Um, it's okay, thickness, and it is a really lovely design. It says it's all about the money, 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 which is really nice, really cute sort of gen z design and then we've got a savings challenge here that says uh 20 in 24 which is cute this must have been a ball lake to weed look how fine that is there that's effort that is so another 2024 challenge so we've got them coming out of our ears now day two is here cute paper cute cute paper let's have a look in this see what we've got so we have another 20 sided dice. This is just a standard white one there, nice and cheap. And this one's called Roll Up and it's just one to 20 on the back. So one to 20, six times. I can't even think of what that adds up to, but it's over a thousand pounds. So yeah, not bad. Here's day three. Let's get day three. So like really pretty tissue paper and they've done it a couple of layers so you kind of can't see through it let's take a look oh we've got a sort of dashboard style bills tracker so just in white it's got date bill amount paid uh pretty basic um so yeah, not too bad at all. And then we've also got a white calculator and this seems pretty um basic too but does exactly what it's supposed to do. So you can't knock it, really nice. Day four, oh, look at this wrapping paper, isn't that pretty? Oh, it's a big old stack of uh, envelopes. So we've got 
a green one. I actually want to see how these are made because they are laminated on the inside, but it's sort of thinner. So we've got a sort of like water marble green. It's almost camo there. And we've got it in blue, yellow, sort of rusty orange, black and white, and then a sort of psychedelic one. Yeah, looks really nice. These are cute, really cute. Let's find day five. Here's day five. Okay, looks like we've got like a, a budget booklet or something. Let's take a look. Okay, so we've got like a little like insert here. So save 2024 and it tells you how much to save each day. What I like about this as well is it doesn't have a pound sign. So anybody can sort of get it and it feels like it's for them, which is cute. And then we have the monthly budget booklet, which I've seen these on their store as well. So it's quite nice. The only thing I'd say about this, right, is every page is satin. If I use a gel pen, yeah, it immediately smears, so you'd have to use something like, I don't know, like a biro or something like that. But yeah, it's quite pretty. If you're into your pink and your black, it's actually nice and it's printed. OK, so not bad. It says on the back, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. That's really sweet. So yeah, um, as a budget booklet, like a monthly budget booklet, cute it's got a meal plan shopping list really i like this i like this is good i really like this okay i forgot what day we're on um i found it okay seven right let's do seven because i don't know where we are what number is this six let's do this this feels like a binder so i'm excited to see what we get binder in the middle wow <gasps> this is nice Okay, so this binder is the exact same binder that I've got in mine. So this is like cute to see it. The binder here, which is literally the same, really nice quality. So pretty, good choice. I agree, I concur, I concur. Moving on to day seven. This is why I don't put the binder, like what's gonna be better than the binder like on day seven? Right, let's take a look at this. Okay, I think I've seen these on their store. These are like uh, inserts. Uh, they're like sort of like the colouring one. So we've got one for each season. So summer, autumn, there, um, summer and spring. Uh, it's like you colour in or you tick off each day. Eight. Well, this feels really promising. Wow. Okay, more envelopes. Oh, these are beautiful. This one here really nice like a yeehaw this one so pretty these here that's nice that one's nice weirdly that one's my favorite really nice let's do number nine number nine i really like this wrapping paper so we've got one of these mini little jars here so this is the yellow one uh the small one so save the pennies and then it's a it's a whole penny challenge on one dashboard look at that that's effort. I wonder if they had to type it all in. Because when I did mine, I had to type every single one in. Wow. Right, I'm excited to see what's next. Uh, then we've got day 10. What's this? Okay, so we've got a, a brutally honest challenge, which has got scratch offs on it. So I wonder what the premise of that is. Um, I kind of want to scratch one off to see what it is. This one says save your favourite number. So it's instead of saying save a specific amount, it's like save this. So I think this is really good and really clever. I think they've done really well with this one. Really nice. And then there's also a 52 week challenge, which has got the envelopes on the back, which is really good because if you're not one of those people that likes to faff around with like uh, envelopes, just to chuck it into one is really nice. So this one's not double sided printed. It's like two dashboards in one, which is interesting interesting that they're different sizes as well maybe are oh, so you can pull it in and out smart okay let's go number 11 i've just seen something extra in there we'll open that at the end so number 11 Ooh! how nice is that oh that's so pretty this is like a back to bank envelope um we've got a cash breakdown here um there and it's got budget with shah's zogo on the back and it's in this sort of like lenticular rainbow so in some lights it is pink some it is blue <gasps> it's so nice and all the buttons are pink as well this is absolutely gorgeous i like this i really do how are you gonna top that how on earth are you gonna top that uh day 12 
day 12. So this is supposed to be the best thing in the calendar. It's your day 12. You'll be opening this on the 13th. Gracie's house fund. Who's Gracie? So we've got Gracie's house fund, a house fund, and then three fully funded slips, which are laminated there. That's left me really confused. Okay, I've just found in here, there's like this extra little packet on the side, which I guess is like extras, which that, that won't stay anyway. Um, let's have a look in here. What is this? This looks really promising and cute. And what is it? Oh, it's like a load of sweets. So it's, oh, like it's quite cute because not everybody likes chocolate. So we've got a stinger, some Skittles, Palma Violet. Ugh. That's a really nice little additional extra. Okay, so that is the budget with Shah Advent Calendar done. I thought that was really good. So really, really quickly, this one was £45 plus shipping and it was a 12 day calendar. So I really, really liked the My favourite bit about it was the binder. I just thought this is a lovely binder and it's a really, really good like I thought it was so nice that I put it in my advent calendar. So really, really nice that people agree with me. Um, yeah, there's a, 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 this as well. This back to bank was, this is a bit of me. Oh, this was so nice. Like so nice. Really, really nice. Um, yeah, let's move on to the third and final one. So this one was bought quite late in the day and it was from Save of Sophie. It was much cheaper um, and it's come in a, like a poly bag, not a, a bubble mailer. So really nice. Look at that. What nice branding. So it says Save of Sophie, 12 days of Christmas advent calendar, 12 exciting challenges never seen before to budget your way into 2024. So never been seen before savings challenges is what I've been promised. So let's um, take a look. So we've got the same tissue paper as the Dingley one, I believe. And let's take a look at, oh, this is so cute. What's this? We've got a couple of dice, which kind of leads me to believe that there's going to be some dice challenges in here. We've got a cinema fund. That's like a little freebie in there. Um, we've got this. What's up, witches? These are cute little things. We've got like a t how cute are these like no one thinks to do stuff that's like not cash envelope size so i thought that was really nice uh we've also got uh like a one of these dice and a six-sided dice so that's gonna a kind of does it ruin the surprise i mean i don't know what they're gonna look like but i know i'm gonna get some dice challenges in there and a nice bit of chocolate so let's find so 12 is at the top so we're gonna have to look for number one okay 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 this is a bit, uh, okay, number one is the last one in there. So that's a bit annoying, but still let's move on. I think that's just a me thing. So it's like a little A6 insert, um, quite uh, normally laminated, not the thickest, uh, but nice and bright. Um, so I think this is like the dice one. So you roll again and then you roll again, and you times those two numbers by themselves. Oh, that could get dangerous. Imagine you get six times six. Let's find number two. These are all quite thin things. So I think we're looking at 12 savings challenges. So it would be nice if they were like loaded in the right way so that you could see them all. So this one here is date night. Um, this one is each picture five pounds and total a hundred pounds. Again, I don't think that we are being as inclusive <laughs> as we can be if by adding pounds on there because, you know, potentially you might want American customers and they might be a bit alienated by five pounds. I mean, like they're not all going to be, but like, is it going to feel like it's a challenge for you if it's in a completely different currency? So yeah, that is very, very cute, very pink, very purple, nice and sweet. Number three is down here. And these stickers are really cute. Like, look, there's some hens on this one. So let's open this one. So we've got the 50p challenge. So I guess you collect all your 50p's up and you uh, select them. Um, 
I don't understand why we got hexagons on there when the 50p is seven sided, but I guess I'm being picky. And I guess all of that there adds up to 20. And then you tick off the 20 on the front and then you rub this off and go again. So I think this is really cute, really nice idea. Right, let's go number four. Number four. Oh, this one is a swinging 60s. Each picture is five pounds and it totals 60. So cute it makes sense that it totals 60 pounds and it's swinging 60s cute right what day are we on i think that was four so let's go for day five okay oh look there's loads in here okay so we've got three fully funded here so we've got a blue one, a purple one, and a pink one. So fully funded, a pound note on it. And then I guess you write in the corner however much it was. So you can just chuck this inside an envelope. That's really nice. Let's go six. Here she is, here's six. So this one is fill the jar. So I guess you color this one in. So you need different colored Sharpies with this one. And they've put a, an amount for what each color is. So you just fill up the gumball jar really cute i like that one that one's lovely number seven is just here so let's grab that so we've got a, a birthday fund here and then all the candles are in white so it says each candle equal so you write how much each one's going to be and then you i guess color them in or or blow them out or whatever and then you get the total when you're done with it that's a really really nice one there's quite a cute, lot of cute like salingers in this one lovely right number eight down here because it's one of the ones that spilled out immediately okay so this one is a five challenge so i guess you save fivers up and then once you've got them all it's save a hundred pounds and then oh this is clever and then once you've done that you sign off a hundred pound on the back and then rub it out start again and then you can say 500 it's kind of like that's really smart so if you are low income and you want to save a 100 pound through fives you do it that way and then you can really ramp it up that way as well so i think that's a really clever idea are there any more like that oh yeah the 20p one was the 50p one was that's such a good idea Okay, now we're on to number nine. Oh, what's this one? So this one says, save my name, save my name. And it tells you how much is per each letter there. And then you can put anybody's name in. So I would be saving up nine, 18, one. That's enough as it is, geez Louise. That's a really clever idea. Really like that. So number 10, if you're someone who likes like little challenges, this is like a little, oh. So this one is called Duck Duck Goose and it's got some scratch offs on there. And I guess you scratch off one might be a duck, it might be a, a goose. So it says on the back, the rules, there are 16 ducks, there are four geese. Find a duck and say five, find a goose and say 15. Be careful, if you find all geese before all the ducks, then it's game over. How much did you manage to save? Once the game is over, scratch off all the rest and start using it again as a regular savings tracker to save up 140. <gasps> That's so good. I cheat. I cheat so badly on this one, Bestie. I really would. Number 11 is just here. We're not done. Don't worry. There's 12 here. She fell out. Okay, so this is specifically for an overdraft. So it says here uh, how to get rid of your overdraft goods. Starting from the bottom, colour in a section every time you save £10. So that's assuming you have a £100 overdraft, right? Once you've saved £100, pay into the bank. Immediately reduce your overdraft limit by 100 Do not pay the money in unless you can reduce your limit immediately afterwards or you may spend it. Repeat until your overdraft is paid. Um, be careful with that. Some places will say that every time you reduce your overdraft, it does affect your credit limit. So that's not always the right thing to do for everybody. But check with your bank before you do things like that. Because if you're constantly doing something that is affecting your credit rating negatively actually when you feel like you're doing the right thing it might not be so just be careful about that bestie okay moving on to day 12 this one's different so they've all been savings challenges and this one here is differently sized and it feels really cute so <gasps> this is cute so new year new me hair oh and it's got a little hair savings challenge on the back Makeup, clothes, nails, waxing, skincare, lashes, personal trainer. 
that's really nice if you are into all of that stuff that's really nice this is absolutely useless on me again like it tells you how much so there's that but still like really pretty really nice clip art chosen really pretty okay so this one is done and dusted and i think this one was a really really good one the little revelation was this really really cute so this one was from save of sophie and it was 24.99 it was a 12 day calendar so it was really pretty i loved the little freebies that you got the only thing i would say about this calendar is every day felt like the same it was always a saving challenge they were always the same size but like a lot of these are really really cute ideas so if you're sort of looking for something that's quite unique in terms of a savings challenge this is a really good shop to head over to okay bestie that is all of the advent calendars done i would love to know down in the comments down below what your favorite one was thank you so much for getting through to the end of the video and you know i love it when you get through to the end of the video please give this video some love make sure you like comment share and subscribe and if you are going to comment please use this emoji Bestie, when you use that emoji, you'll be entered into a draw. And on that draw, you could win a huge bundle of most of the stuff that you saw in today's video. I am going to take some bits, like I really like that binder, both binders actually. Um, I really liked a couple of bits, so I'm just going to keep them for myself, but a lot of the stuff I'm going to send over to you. So this is open to anyone in the world. So if you live in America or the UK, make sure you go ahead and use that emoji and tell me which one was your favourite. We'll draw that one in my next vlog whenever that is and I will let you know so a huge best of luck to everybody and thank you for getting to this point thanks so much for getting here but an extra special thank you to the channel members and the patrons who make all of this possible I truly mean it when I say without you I would not be here patrons get exclusive content significant discounts off my Etsy store and super sneaky sneak peek so if you'd like to join them and support me over on patreon please take a look at the link in the description you will not regret it bestie that's everything we have for today but until the next video which i'm hoping is going to be a while but i'm guessing it's going to be the check-in on wednesday i would like you to have a wonderful day have a wonderful week and have a wonderful budget always remember don't trust ira and bestie have a lovely christmas Bye bye